high grade 12 students our aim today is to find the derivative of inverse function you took in grade 10 how to find an inverse function suppose you have a linear equation of the form y equal mx plus n where m is the slope if you replace x by y and y by x you're going to get y equal f inverse of x which is x over m minus n over m what do you realize? You can realize that the slope here of f of x is m, and the slope here is 1 over m. So if you have a point of tangency, which is a here, whose coordinates are a and b, this point has four coordinates, a equal b and a. You permute x to y and y to x. So if the point is a, b in f of x, this point will be a prime b, a on the curve at the, uh, of inverse. And the tangent here at that point is m. However, the tangent at that point of the inverse function is 1 over m so what this will lead us will lead us to the following formula that we need to know if you have a point a b which is in f of x its inverse a prime b a is belongs to f inverse of x so as we said since the slope of the first one is m that of the inverse is inverse one over m so we can put the formula derivative of m if f inverse of a function f of x at x is equal to b, I mean here, at x equal to b, is nothing else than 1 over d a f of dx, inverse 1 over f, uh, 1 over inverse of f of x at the point what? a. So as a summary, if you want to find the inverse, derivative of the inverse function at a point b a, who belong to the inverse function, you need to find 1 over derivative of f of x at the point x equal to a. I mean here, if the coordinates of the point a, b belong to f of x, you take here the abscissa of this point, and for the inverse function, you take the ordinate. To understand that, let us take an example. In this example, I have f of x equal x cubed minus 2. My aim is to find the derivative f inverse derivative of f inverse of uh, x at the point x equal 6 equal f of 2. What does this mean? It means x equal to 6 equal f of 2. It means f of 2 equal to 6. So the coordinates of this point is 2, 6. In the f of x, a is 2, f of y equal to x, 2, 6 in the f of x. And in the inverse function, here x will be 6. So 6, 2 in the inverse function. So not to get confused, f of 2 equal to 6, that you already know, y equal f of x, x is 2, y is 6 in the f of x, and in the inverse function, x will be 6 and y will be 2. So and I want to find the inverse, derivative of the inverse function at x equal to 6. Here I have inverse, I go to x of the inverse. Here I have, this is the inverse function, f inverse. So I have 6, so I replace 6. is nothing else than 1 over derivative of f of x at x equal to 2 in f of x. So I do the derivative here. The derivative of x cubed is a 3x squared. So it is 1 over 3x squared. But since x is 2, it will be 1 over 12. Let us take another example. Similarly, we have f of x equal x squared. They want derivative of inverse function at the point two. What does it mean derivative of inverse function at x equal to two? It means in the f inverse of x, they gave us y is two. So at f of x, in f of x, not in the inverse, you have what? A point, but f of x, in f of x, whose abscissa is unknown and whose y is two. This y in f of x is x in f inverse. So since I have the function f of x, so I solve x squared equal to 2. It will give me x equal plus or minus radical 2. So here I have radical 2. I don't pick minus because they said that negative is not accepted. So in the function f of x, I have a point whose coordinates are radical 2, 2. But in the inverse, I have 2. Just you permute 2 and radical 2. The derivative of the inverse function at x equal to 2, which is y of f of x, which is x of the inverse, is nothing else than 1 over df of dx at x equal to radical 2 in f of x. 
Radical 2 in F inverse is, for example, here, Y. So radical 2. So my aim is when I want to find the derivative of the inverse function, this point that I put here, if it's an, in F of X, it will be Y. And this point here will be the abscissa in f of x. Okay, so if this is f of x, this point belongs to f of x. Here I put y, and here I put abscissa. So I do the derivative of f of x, which is 1 over 2x. Since x is radical 2, I replace this. So it's 1 over 2 radical 2. Let us take another example. Similarly, they gave us f inverse of 3 over 8, derivative of f inverse 3 over 8. This is 3 over 8 is, is the abscissa in f inverse. So in f of x, in function f, this one point will be nothing else than the y because it's x in f inverse. So I want to find x, so I replace here by 3 over 8 because this is y of f of x. So I do cross multiply. I will get x is 5. So I say derivative of f inverse of d of x at this point, which will be x, this y will be x in f inverse of x, is 1 over df of dx at x equal to 5. So if I do the derivative here, u over v, u prime v minus v prime u over v squared, I get this one. You can try it. It will be this one. And I replace x by 5. So it will be 5 over 64, so 64 over 5. Another example, here I want to the derivative at that point. What does this point? Like the first example, here the point, it's in f of x. So the point here in f, it will be x is 2, y is 1. So the same story, df of inverse over dx at x is 1, because in inverse functions, this will be the x, equal 1 over df of dx at x is 2 in f. So if I do this derivative 3x squared minus 4x at x is 2, if you replace x by 2, you're going to get 4, 1 over 4. However, here you have a homework. I want you to solve that homework. It's eight questions. And to check if your answer is correct, I have posted here. You can stop the video and check the questions. You can write them. And this is the solution. I'm going to stop for some seconds so that if you want to take a picture of the solution, this is the solution. And this is another part of the solution. So I want you to uh, do the homework. Hope that you got the derivative of inverse function and see you tomorrow in school. Take care. Bye.